Love changes enemies into friends. Hello, and welcome to the manna to live by. One day at a time. 5-Minute Devotionals Today is December 7th. Today's reading is from 1 Corinthians, chapter 13 and verse 13. The greatest of these is love. Love is the conquering power in a world of hatred, strife, and selfishness. It can do what no other virtue can do, and, in that sense, is the queen of the graces. Love repays abuse with kindness. It prays for mercy for its executioners. It acts unselfishly, when all around are clamoring for their rights. It gives until it can give no more. An Indian was driving his elephant along the street, goading it continually to increase its speed. Suddenly, the steel goad slipped from his hand, tumbling with loud clanging on the pavement. The elephant swung around, picked up the goad with its trunk, and held it out to the master. Love is like that. In one of Aesop's fables, there was a contest between the sun, and the wind, over who could make a man remove his coat. The wind blew furiously, but the more it blew, the more he pulled the coat tightly around him. Then, the sun shone down on him and he took off his coat. It changed him through warmth. Love is like that. Sir Walter Scott, once threw a stone at a stray dog, with such power and accuracy, that it broke the dog's leg. As Scott stood there remorsefully, the dog limped up to him, and licked the hand that had thrown the rock. Love is like that. Stanton hurled bitter invective at Lincoln, calling him, a, low cunning clown, and, the original gorilla. He said that anyone would be foolish to go to Africa for a gorilla, when there was one in Springfield. Lincoln turned the other cheek. In fact, he later appointed Stanton as war minister, insisting he was the most qualified man for the job. When Lincoln was shot, Stanton stood by his lifeless body, wept openly and said, There lies the greatest ruler of men the world has ever seen. Lincoln had conquered, by turning the other cheek. Love is like that. E. Stanley Jones, wrote, By turning the other cheek, you disarm your enemy. He hits you on the cheek, and you, by your moral audacity, hit him on the heart, by turning the other cheek. His enmity is dissolved. Your enemy is gone. You get rid of your enemy, by getting rid of your enmity. The world is at the feet of the man, who had power to strike back, but who had power not to strike back. That is power, the ultimate power. Sometimes, it may seem that more can be accomplished, by speaking the harsh word, by repaying tit for tat, and by standing up for one's rights. These methods do have a certain amount of power. But, the balance of power is on the side of love, because, instead of deepening hostility, love changes enemies into friends. Love changes enemies into friends. Today's Manna, originally written by William MacDonald. Adapted and developed, as Manna to Live By, 5-Minute Devotionals for YouTube, by John Benjamin.